What's up, y'all? It's me, Erica. It's Tuesday, the 18th or the 19th of February. I don't know what day it is um, or the date. I just know it's Tuesday. I've lost track of the days. I think it's the I think it's the 19th. Anyways, I'm super duper cold. I do not lie. I told y'all I don't like walking from one place to the other and feel any kind of coldness or anything like that. So I wrap myself up really, really good. Let me turn the radio off. I don't really have much to talk about, but I did see this thing on Twitter this morning talking about, I mean my vitamin C, hold on, about how do black businesses expect to thrive when the customer service is bad. And my answer was to the person, first of all, you got to leave Yelp reviews. You don't have one bad experience with a black owned business and then say, oh, I'm not going to support them. How do you, where, why? It's like, you don't, when somebody makes a mistake, you don't give them an opportunity to correct it. You don't say to them, hey, like leave a, leave a Yelp review or tell them right then and there that the service was not to your standards. You would be very, very surprised to know that five different people can have five different understandings or def a defined customer service or service, good service, not even customer service, just good service. You'd be surprised at how many people have a different definition, have different definitions of what good is, of what quality service is of how to treat some how to treat a customer face to face how to treat them a lot of people don't know how they don't know i'm opening a business and i want to offer a service because i see that there is a need right that's usually why you open a business you're able to identify a need in the marketplace so you then produce some produce the gap whatever that person needs as long as you're good at it and some people are not good at it some people have businesses because they feel like it's a way out of whatever situation or it's a stream of income like I can get this money real quick they don't really care about it you have to understand like some people are in business for the wrong reason you know what I'm saying and then if they're in business for a good reason you know like I said they see a gap in the marketplace and they they saw they found a need and they're offering a service to to mend that gap and like you know some people don't care like some people do not care and then there's some people that do and just because they give they have they maybe they had a bad day maybe they you don't know what they're going through and it's like ugh, I don't I, I'm all for good service I'm all for good service um, tell people when they have great service like when you when you leave reviews don't just leave bad reviews leave good reviews so that people can understand where their strengths and where their weaknesses are that's the only way that we can support each other if your business is bad I'm going to tell you I'm not gonna talk about you honey I went to such and such and such and such and her business was such and such, such I'm gonna tell her look Teresa I don't know nobody named Teresa, honey. That's just the name I always use. Teresa, look, we came in here the other day. You had a person at the cash register. She did not say thank you. She did not say please. She did not look me in the face. You know, some people, everything that I just named, some people don't see that as bad customer service. They want their shit and they want to go. They don't want small talk. See, I'm a person that I like good customer service. I like to have people who are personable. I have walked into like chain stores who have hired some girl who does not who just needs a job has not been trained on how to deal with people face to face and you can tell and you just have to say you know first of all please don't snatch money from me without looking at me don't grab it from me you're not in that big of a hurry like sometimes you gotta check somebody right then and there do you thought you thought that was nice you thought that was good customer service like I will tell the person right then and there I don't know where my glasses are what are ways that you can still support black owned businesses and this idea 
let's just first of all that this idea that white people get better service white establishments get better service you have to think about the means like I mean are you really supporting small white businesses I mean you understand what I'm saying I like we have to figure out a way like this idea that that their standard of service they're not nobody's gonna treat you better than your own people I don't care I do not care and, and like the service being bad or your concerns not being addressed none of that I don't know I just think I'm like this girl had one bad experience and you're like how do we support black owned businesses when the customer service is bad uh, you tell them that their service is bad you give them the areas and where they need improvement and allow them to improve and give them feedback not not only do you get on to, well I mean I don't think getting on I mean you can get on Twitter and talk about your experience but leave a Yelp review go on Yelp find the business on Yelp and leave a review call the people and say can I speak to your supervisor can I speak to your manager at you know what's going on here that's my thing I'm like just I don't know what this what these people are doing okay um I don't know I don't know I just feel like you just you don't have to you don't have to stop supporting black owned businesses because you had a bad experience again some people don't think their service is bad so where can they improve what's your definition of good customer service face-to-face -face customer service I'm walking into the thing like I found when I lived in Atlanta I found Atlanta to have the worst customer service I've ever experienced in any state that I have ever visited and just because you walk into a business and and the people that work there holler welcome to such and such that's not good customer service especially if that's all you say to me or have, you don't have to, welcome to Walgreens everybody likes to holler welcome to whatever store you walking into in Atlanta and then you don't hear from the motherfuckers again where did y'all go is anybody gonna ask me do I need help finding something or when you take my money can you look at me or you know say thank you or something like you got to make people feel comfortable. And if they don't, then you got to say, like, that's my, like, to me, that might, like, everybody has a different definition of what good customer service is. So it's all about how you define it, I guess. I don't know. But I don't think you should stop supporting black-owned business. Like, that's the huge gripe, right? We, let's just be honest. That's a huge gripe. But then you have to make, you have to remember that, some people are comparing these levels of service to huge chain stores that have access to training, that have access to resources that help their people be better um, service workers. And that's the major gripe, okay? You're just gonna be honest. That is the major gripe of it all. Why should, why should I support your business as your service is bad? Well, how do I know my service is bad? Because all I'm, all I have been learned to do is provide the service, deliver the service. Now, do I have to deliver good service? You know, and then just let the people know I want, I want to support you, but this service that you guys are offering, mm -mm, y'all got to do better. And that's where, well, you know how I always say, like a part of what we have to do in in our community and as friends to each other and you know collectives is to support uplift encourage each other but the most important thing that i always say is keep each other honest if you're doing bad if your behavior is whack like that's what i'm saying like about a lot of the things that we excuse as performative support because we feel like we have to support people even when they're doing or making bad decisions or doing bad things you don't but you can say, hey, listen, I want to support you. But the way that you guys are delivering service is really, really bad. It's really bad. What are you, you know, and they, what else can they do but either correct it or not? If they don't correct it, then that's on them. You've already said something to them. You've already left a review, right? You can, or before you or before leaving a review, call them and speak to the manager. It's a small owned business. You can speak to the person who runs the fucking joint. Can I speak to the person who runs the business? Or can I get a message to the person that runs the business? 
just wanted to give you some feedback on the customer service that I received when I came to support your business. I think people who are in business, most people who are in business understand that in order to have more customers, you have to deliver good service. I, and I think that's just a given. Um, but some people don't have that understanding. I'm tired of repeating myself. <laughs> I'm just tired of repeating myself. So what do you think we should do to support black, to support small, not even small, or just black owned businesses? What do you feel that you can do to support black businesses who provide poor or substandard customer service? What do you think you should do? I already gave my ideas. Leave your ideas down in the comments. I said Yelp reviews and speak to them directly. Offer them feedback right then and there. And that's it. And then I, and then also like say, you know, I want to refer people to you. More business. You got more business. I'm not going to refer anybody to you. And then if they see you have like, unfortunately, and fortunately, they see how many followers you have and determine how, how they're going to respond. So that's like kind of. It's kind of weird, but you still have people that will determine their, you know, response based on how many followers you have. Because how many followers followers you have translates into influence, so blah, blah, blah. All right. Thank you, lady. Thank you for letting me over and for blinking your lights to give me a heads up. Thank you very much. That is the first thing, one of the first things I saw. Another thing I saw this morning was some fucking rapper. I don't know who the fuck he is or what his fucking name is, but he's in trouble or about to get in trouble for attempted robbery or something like that. And, so, and I was just saying, uh, for these kids, like kids, young adults, whatever, I'm gonna call them kids, but they're not, they're in their 20s and their mid 20s and they're, they figure out hip hop is a way to get out or to get extra money or to get some clout. You know, this baby gangster to rapper formula or this stripper to rapper formula. They're not, they're using the culture to for clout. Like I'm a rapper. I'm going to go into the studio and make three or four songs. And then I'm going to say that I'm a rapper and I'm going to start getting streamed and whatever. To me, I feel like any of these rappers, you getting in trouble, you just got on, you getting in trouble, I'm taking everything, your streaming services, your deal, everything, everything. I will put in a fuck and a motherfucker's deal. You want a deal from me? The minute you get in trouble with the law, your deal is off. No more money for you. And you got to pay back any advances that we gave you. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. You cannot be out here. If I'm putting out, a, if I'm giving you a contract to make music and to offer you in in return for your music promotion and 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 visibility and all of this shit, and you go out here and you robbing people like you still on that street shit. Like you haven't like that's why I know the the niggas are using hip hop for a means to get out. Like you don't really have a respect for the craft and the craft is writing it's not just performing the craft is writing the craft is production the craft i mean to be honest anybody and i anybody but not really anybody anybody can perform not everybody has stage presence not everybody like that you're a better writer than you are a performer the craft is in the writing. If you're a rapper and all you can do is, I don't know, I, I just feel like, I don't know. When was the last time you put a pen to the pa put to paper? When have you actually wrote down a rap? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I just think like, like I said, the stripper to rapper formula, the baby gangster to rapper formula, they don't have respect for the craft. Like I was watching Love and Hip Hop last night and I was looking at Alexis Sky. You sign with 6 9 and Treyway, and you knew they was gangsters. Or did you think they was fake? Fake gangsters, like we know Daniel Hernandez is fake. But them other niggas, you don't, 
you went and signed with them and then you expect them right because you went from a IG model to rapper formula because you feel like you need more money in order to maintain this lifestyle that you want want to lead and you figure rapping is the easiest thing I can do these niggas want to fuck me these these bitches want to be me so I'm gonna go out here and become a rapper I'm gonna find some nigga who wants to fuck me enough to give me some beats he'll never give you beats he'll never give you beats okay you out here fuck that's what that's the joke you fucking for beats you don't really want to be a rapper you don't you don't i have I, I don't see any i you know like when iggy azalea came out i was like bitch you don't want to be a rapper tell me what you wanted to be a rapper forever you've been a, a child since the internet there are no videos of you anywhere performing anywhere competing with anybody rapping anywhere showing that you love the rap none of that you fake you are fake you are fake, 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 fake. Your rap is fake, your persona is fake, your body is fake, you fake. Your raps are not even real. None of it is real, none of you are real and that's why the shit is, like people be like hip hop is dead because y'all motherfuckers don't have no respect for the art form at all. At all, you just wanna figure out a way to get out of the hood and make some money and rap and entertainment is the easiest thing to do. I was watching Real Housewives of New Jersey and I was looking at the men and their their um their professions and I'm like I really w I I was just watching them I like I really wish that there was more of a spotlight on people who are prominent in their communities that are not in entertainment or sports. This man has his own he's a plastic surgeon. You look how he li he lives l like okay I mean is is it easier to just get up like it's easier it's fast it's quick money it's fucking like a like I'm going to put it just a little bit of effort into this I'll get a few followers some pe if I have enough people who will like me I just don't like the whole thing and what's her name is really a fluke because she has um personality stage presence she has all of those things that people are are able to relate to right now and so she's very 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 popular but she has said it over and over again i got in this game to make money that's it i don't like you know if you they don't like she don't like the industry she doesn't like it talking about cardi b but i'm t and i'm but i like back to the real housewives of new jersey i'm just like looking at the at the at the at the amount of wealth that these people have acquired and none of them are in the entertainment industry like we have to like kind of encourage other things you know i don't know i don't know i'm just like you I, i'm i'm on a tangent but i just like you don't you don't you don't care about this art form you don't care about it you don't care about it if you have enough people who want to replicate your persona you're in this day and age you're you're good they don't give a fuck about your talent do you know how many people have said shit about actually being able to write is not a requirement like it's like that has that, that has been pushed out as part of a requirement of authenticity in terms of being a rapper it's okay that drake doesn't write no it's not okay it's not okay where does the skill come in i want to know what are you being what am i supporting do i like your personality do you are you good with your pen is your production nice the, how you rap is your flow nice i mean what am i what do i like about you like if you stop doing music, what else would you be able to? I don't know. I'm just on a tangent because I'm just like all of these people getting arrested for robbery and and stupid shit. Just stupid shit. You don't really want to be a rapper. You want to use rap to get out of a situation or to give you more clout. What you think? Anyways, that's my time, y'all. I don't even know what the fuck I'm talking about today. I'm tired. It's finally getting warm in here. Um, 
what else? That's it. I don't have anything else to talk about. Take care of each other. Protect your energy. Peace.